Hallo, Katrin hier with European Paper Crafts in the US. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And now is the time, if you haven't started yet, with your Christmas projects. And I have a few more cards for you and new products that I know you will like. So let's get started. I have two new die cut sheet lines with you to share today, both from Find It. And the first one is called The Wonder of Christmas, and this is Yvonne Creations. And let's see, this one just came in uh, this week, and I haven't had a chance to make any cards with this one yet, but look at the pretty deer here, the uh, Christmas village all snowed in with a fox. And the third embellishment, again, we have this cute village here with the church, and then the uh, red robins in top so uh, these die cut sheets have three embellishments and they're all like i said die cut all you have to do is push them out and then layer them there's a second one in this line and it's got this pretty lantern here and of course this you can recognize Yvonne creations we like her art it is whimsical and modern and there is another one so those are all candles and a couple of lanterns. And then there is also the From Santa with Love. This came in just a couple weeks ago and I was ready to make some cards with it. So let's take a look. Um, this one here, so, so pretty. And this is uh, the Amy design with beautiful greenery. And I made cards with these, so you can see those in a minute. Then there is this cute one here with the Santa. Look how cozy. And a very long wish list there. And here hanging from a reef. Very pretty. There is also another deer here with the uh, village in the back. Couple of bells. Very Christmassy, very festive. Here's another Santa. Look at him here in front of the Christmas tree and the Christmas village, so pretty. And those cards, of course, with these die cut sheets come together very, very quickly. And here is the uh, fourth one from Santa with Love. And with this one, again, I made cards and you will see them right now. Okay, and here is my first card. And very simple, like I said. First of all, here is the embellishment. And of course, it comes right here from the sheet. It is the one, oh, actually, it's the one up here. Uh, you have this wooded background and then this beautiful Christmas bouquet. And I stacked it just like it was intended to be on a card, just two pieces of background paper, a little bit of these beautiful uh, glittered borders, uh, a punched snowflake, and then I stamped sending holiday cheer and added some stickles. And that's all there is. And it makes, I think, a beautiful card because of all the layers and, of course, the pretty artwork as well. So first card, very quick, very simple. Next one, and here it is, there is this beautiful stocking from the bottom of this sheet. And... You will see all my cards are very simple today. Um, normally, I do like the simple and the quick cards anyway, especially now Christmas is upon us. You may want to make a few handmade cards. You don't want to take too much time. So here we go. We have some uh, background paper. The card blank is from a Michael's pack. And uh, I just added a little bit of a offset for my candy stripe paper, just a little bit of white shimmer paper and then here is the embellishment again sitting on what looks like a sleigh but it's just you know pieces of wood and then this beautifully decorated beautiful stocking look at this and i added the sprinkles so it is not glittered when it comes off the sheet uh merry christmas is a sticker and then this little holly leaf here is from my stash and there is my second card, very quick. And then the third one is even quicker. And here it is. And of course, these are the bells from the sheet. 
And what I have done here is I bought a pack of these beautifully gilded snowflake cards from Michaels. They had them this year. I think it was a pack of, I want to say 25 cards. I uh, don't want to swear on that, but look how gorgeous it is. And it's really, it's just a E2 white card, but the, the front is so, so pretty. Now, what I have done is those little dots here that you see, I added them. So that's just um, a little bit of gold stickles, but uh, the other gilding was already on there. Now, I also added, of course, this beautiful element from our sheet and then a Merry Christmas sticker and here it is all layered with foam pads and isn't this a gorgeous card and literally I just pushed out the pieces again these are so easy to come out and since uh, the paper is more on the thinner side you can definitely layer all the layers and make it look so so pretty I think this came out, this is probably my favorite card, but it was the easiest. It literally took me just a few minutes to assemble that. Okay, and then there is more. Okay, and here is my next card. And this one here comes from this beautiful sheet with all the wintry designs. Here is this beautiful winter village, a red robin right here in front of it. And what I have done here is I just used a background paper from Michaels. I bought this pad a few years ago and I had all these wintry bluish uh, nighttime night sky papers. I have never used it and now I took it out and thought I'm going to use it. And of course here is a lot of blue in here. And this is how I uh, look for papers. I check you know, what is the uh, ingredient, the, the colors in these embellishments, and then I find matching papers. That's really all the fun, uh, finding the right materials. So I found this beautiful background paper. I kind of etched it with uh, the acrylic paint just to give it a little more snowy look. And then I punched a doily for my background, for my uh, topper piece. And whenever I see these toppers that are either round or ovals, I feel tempted to use my punches just to give it a platform. And if you have punches or you have dies with uh, circles and ovals, then why not use them? So you can see it sits there and I even um, put this, this uh, beautiful doily on a couple of foam pads just to lift it. Now with this one, you have four layers, right? So here is layer number one, here is layer number two, here is layer number three, and there is number four. And I used layer number four for the inside of my card. There was, um, I thought, well, let's see if this, there we go. I thought there was um, enough for the front. Uh, I did layer it. And you know, with the stickers and everything, I, it seemed it seemed okay. So uh, of course, you can stretch it and use one of the layers on your envelope or on the card. But um, yeah, this is my first card. Now, second card, again, very simple. And here you can see I have the same punch for the doily, but I made it look like a snow globe. So I basically punched out this uh, round piece with my doily and then I just added a foot and I cut that just you know by eye I, I looked at um, you know I looked at a snow globe you know how does it look like and it was pretty simple because I just cut a strip of paper and then I um, cut off the corners to make that foot for the snow globe and this does look like a snow globe scene, of course, and I didn't do anything with the shaker. And of course, you can do that as well. But I wanted the uh, first of all, I wanted a simple card, and then I wanted this beautiful embellishment to shine in its in its entirety. So I didn't want to cut it off by having a shaker card. But look how uh, beautiful the layers are. Christmas wishes is. Uh, stamp I have and then this little flower is of course the layer that should go right here but I stretched it over I just added a couple of glitter borders and the background paper very simple too 
the blue paper with some snowflakes on it. And um, oh, this is a top folding card and just a white card. And these look so wintry and pretty. And then I made a thank you card as my third one. And this one here is a smaller card. These are also packs that you can get at Michael's. Let me see if I can find them. So here they are. There are 15 in there and they came in different colors. I got these at a, at a sale. Uh, they wanted uh, $5.99 for it. And um, I think I got these for $2 at some clearance at one point. So check out, you know, especially after Christmas, they're going to have clearance items. And this is where I got these cards. And I think these make great thank you cards because they're a little smaller. And you can uh, see I used the very same background paper from that paper pack. And here is my gorgeous topper. Look how beautiful this artwork is. Stickles make it glittery. And then here is a thanks sticker. And that will be a thank you card in a very simple one. But I have one more thing. So and I'm going to have a very quick add on. And here it is. I made this cute card, I think, with this gorgeous little snowman. And these just came in to my shop. And I have them in two varieties. So we have these cute snowmen here. And there are six on a sheet. And then we also have six of those penguins. And look how festive they are with their red and green scarves. Super cute. And these are by the little birdie. And I just wanted to uh, show them to you really quickly. Um, here, this card is a three and a half by three and a half inch square card. I punched out a couple of Christmas trees. I'm trying to work with all my scraps that I have laying around. So um, here is this cute little snowman and it's already uh, stacked for you. So these are already dimensional. And then I uh, added a little bit of this uh, border sticker. And again, this is a great way to get rid of some of your scraps by making smaller cards or tags. So, um, you know, for your presents that you can just stick there. And then there's one more thing. And here it is. Look at this cute little doodle pop. So super cute. This pink headed snowman. And for this, I also made a card. And because I saw pink, of course, I wanted to have a pink card here. And this is another older paper pack uh, from Michael's. You cannot get it anymore, but there are similar paper packs around. So for sure you can find a paper pack that has these uh, light blue and pink colors. And that's the background for my cute little snowman. And that one is a sticker also layered. It comes with those two extra snowflake stickers. And this is a very cute little pack here. And then um, all I have added is let it snow from my stack and the glitter borders and put this on a pink uh, card that is white inside and here it is but i thought these two cute little things i wanted to share with you too because they are available in my shop now here are all the cards that i have shared with you today i hope you like them and if so i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up leave me a comment I would love to hear from you. Tell me about your own Christmas crafts or what card you like best. And then please share this video with your crafty friends and family. I would really appreciate the support. Now this is all I have for you today. Please stay or get well. And I catch you next time. Happy crafting. Bye bye.